Hey everyone, welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. And on this channel, we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items that your subscribers ask us to review. All right, so I guess you can't really see the mess behind me, but we are in the grips of packing and moving. Um, you can kind of see some boxes, and it, it will get messier here. But um, we are moving. We are moving to the Nash, not Nashville, the Knoxville Tennessee area, uh, probably in Maryville. It's spelled Maryville, but it's pronounced Maryville. Um, that's kind of an area that we're looking at currently. We're looking at schools and stuff for kids, but we are going to be East Coasters um, here very soon, um, sometime around May of 2022. So depending on when you're watching this video, but we've got something to look at today. We've got something to review. And what is that? Well, it is after this. All right, so today um, we are going to be taking a look at, I'm going to pick it up, oh, the Samurai 2 by Mission Dart. So this is their uh, dartboard, the Mission Dartboard Samurai 2, because I can talk today. Uh, it's got improved, deep, vibrant colors over the original Samurai. So we're going to take a look at this, get a close-up look at it. I'm going to hang it, play with it a little bit, and give you guys kind of a wrap-up on it. But let's go ahead and pull it out and... Take a look at what it is. So I've heard a lot about this particular dartboard. A uh, number of people mentioning it over time. So it's hanging apparatus uh, on the social medias. Nicely packed. I love the little corner pieces. Those are helpful. Oh. All right. So here we go. Uh, it's wrapped in plastic. Nice. And they put the little stuff in there to keep moisture out, which is very important for sessile, uh, for sizal, however you want to pronounce it, um, in packaging these things because they do kind of sit and you don't want moisture to get in there. It can cause um, a mold-like substance, uh, a discoloration or issues like that. So nice that they do that. Give it that. But let's open this up. Some good plastic on there. Ugh, there we go. I like the colors so far, just right out of the bat. Um, whoop, instructions. There's a hole on the back for you to hang. That's the center of the board. I'm going to put a mount a puck system on here because that's what I like to use. It gives me the ability to rotate the dartboard and then swap them out. I used to have three hanging on this wall, but currently I have one spot and I just swap out boards that way. But the colors on this, really nice. Take a look at the colors here. Really nice green and red. And the, the blacks look good. The whites. You can see a little bit of that kind of spidering that in, in the white, in the black there. So the, the packing of the, the sessile or size or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. It's packed in groups in there. And if you look at some of the older boards, they would you could see the lines through them. I always call them spider webs. Um, but the newer boards, you don't get that as much because of the pain and the coloration that's on there. It's still there. It's just hidden much better. And I think this board looks really clean. Uh, metal surround. I know some of the board ma manufacturers now, I think it's mainly shot. Uh, it's a plastic surround um, or bar or whatever you want to call this piece, edge piece, but nice. Typical number bar, um, but it can be switched because it pulls right out. So easy to rotate the board and the number bar. Looks really good. I like the mission. It's a spider web um, and it looks pretty good. Um, not bad at all. It, it does sit up a little bit above, which is okay. Um, I like the bullseye. It's a little bit a little bit high in my opinion. I think it could be in there a little bit more. Um, but overall, nice spider webbing there in regards to that. Looks good. It's got a good smell to it. Feels really solid. All right, I'm going to put the puck on it. I'm going to take it over, give it some throws, and kind of see how it does in regards to damage. You know, is it showing damage? Is it showing wear fairly quickly or not? And, of course, over time, I'll play with it and please Comments down below and ask questions um, to find out a little bit more about it in regards to how it holds up. 
But I'm going to go ahead and hang it and throw at it and then give you guys a final wrap up here. All right, so today we've been taking a look at the Mission Samurai 2, and I can say, uh, I guess the camera doesn't, may not pick this up so well. If I step back a little, hmm. I noticed when at the Aki, that spidering effect, that older spider, well, see, this is the spider, uh, that well, I don't know, what do you call it? Basically the section, that effect that you see, like the black lines that kind of ran through where you could tell that it, this was a section of the sessile, sizal, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's a little more prevalent when you're standing at the Aki than up close looking at it. The other thing I noticed is in the greens, hopefully you can see it right here, but it's kind of yellowy. So they painted, of course, they, they screen print these on top of the coloration. So it's this color is put on there. You can kind of see what I'm talking about right there, I think. But so it's this color. And then they screen print all this on here. Um, you can see a little, these kind of look yellow, a couple of them in certain sections. So the coloration's good, but it's not great. Um, certainly could be a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, it receives darts well. It heals very well, which is important because it'll last uh, longer because you're not ripping the board apart unless you're Simon Whitlock um let's see what else i mean just the the spidering the metal wire spider looks pretty good it feels good it's pretty smooth it's not sticking up anywhere it looks like it's shot in there fairly well it's a little bit high on this one right here um than the other ones did notice that but all in all not a bad board for in my opinion someone who's getting started in darts someone who's kind of a weekend warrior intermittent type play it's not a blade six you know it's not that type of board it's not the shot duro um but overall it's a good board it's a great practice board again in my opinion if you're uh someone who's playing regularly and you're replacing boards and you're not sponsored so you're buying boards um this would be a good board to go with uh, based on price point and how it's made, you're going to get tournament style play out of this. So all in all, not a bad board. Um, yeah, that's kind of my opinion on it. Great for beginners, great for that intermediate, intermediate, inter, for the middle level player, because I can't speak today, but great for that all around player or someone that's looking for a practice board that they can replace fairly regularly, but still gets a good quality play out of it. I'm going to go with that on this mission. Now, where can you get one of these? That's the big question. I know they happen to be available at Dart Brokers. So you can just go to dartbrokers.com and you'll find the mission product there, including this particular board. So um, give it a go, give it a look, but all in all, not a bad looking board. All right, guys, thanks for watching this review of the Mission Samurai 2 board. I am Matthew, this is Atomic Darts, and I'll see you on the next one.